Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer an image onto a piece of wood. So not everybody can airbrush. I know I can't particularly draw or anything like that. So sometimes it's good to either be able to put in a base for an image so that you can fill it in after and like shade it in and whatnot or be able to completely transfer an image onto a piece of wood. Now there are ways to do this with fancy equipment, either by burning it in a laser, I'm pointing over there because we have one, or printing it right on there, stuff like that. But, you know, not everybody's got that stuff. It's pretty easy actually to be able to transfer an image that you've printed off on a laser printer right onto a piece of wood if you do it properly. So that's what we're gonna do today. No specialized equipment required. There's really not a whole lot to it. All we're really gonna use in terms of products and equipment is this Minwax Polycrylic here. So I'm gonna put a link to that, an affiliate link in the description below. If you're looking for some, I'm sure you can get it at a hardware store or something like that near you. But if you wanna buy it offline, sorry, online, off the online, I don't play, you know. If you wanna buy it on Amazon, I'm gonna put a link to it. You can check it out there. So now that we've covered what we're gonna be using, let's open this guy up and get to work. In order to get this on here nice and even, this is just a chunk of scrap wood, it's bent and everything, but you'll still get the idea. So in order to get this on here nice and even and avoid brush strokes and everything, this is a waterborne paint, or water base rather, I'm going to just use a foam brush and try and put a nice, not particularly thick layer on here. I probably should have sanded this, but the piece of wood is reasonably smooth as it stands, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Now you don't, you, you need a reasonable layer of this stuff, you can't just, or, or at least I don't, just brush on a very, very thin layer. I need something to be able to, you know, push that image down into. But of course you want to get it as smooth as you can, avoid a bunch of brush strokes and stuff like that. We're going to have to come in and top coat over this later, or at least for a finished project or product we would definitely be doing that. For the purposes of this one, I'm not sure I'm going to bother, but we'll see. The nice thing about this water-based stuff is it's pretty damn easy to apply. It gives a nice crystal clear look. If you want some ambering, you're going to need to go oil-based, but don't do that for this because you won't be able to transfer the image quite the same. So you'll notice I'm coming back now and putting on a little more that didn't get much build up the first time and this stuff dries slow enough that I can do this as opposed to if I were brushing on a lacquer then coming back in like this would just mess it up all right so I've got my layer on there now it's looking pretty good I'm I'm happy with it so I'm gonna move this out of my way and now you want to be able to line this up so if you need to fold a corner or something to get it lined up you're going to want to do that before you put your finish on but for the purposes of mine it's pretty straightforward it's a straight bottom so I can just pull it down there and then I want to push it down smooth it out make sure there's no air under there just always start at the middle when you're doing this and push to the outside it's nice if you have an image that covers the entire surface that you're working on but it doesn't need to be done that way as you can see I'm just using a small piece of paper that only takes up a portion of this. So I'm, I'm finding there's like a ridge here, I'm trying to get that out, right? So you wanna, you wanna try to avoid having those underneath. And this stuff is gonna wrinkle up a little bit as it absorbs that paint, because it's water going into paper, right? So that's just kinda to be expected, but you wanna try and limit that to some degree if you can. Um, because you don't want that to come through in your final image. All right, so this is pushed down on here now. It's looking pretty good. I'm not uh, I'm not going to do anything else to it for now. I'm just going to let that sit for probably an hour, an hour and a half, and then we're going to come back, remove the paper backing, and see how our image transferred onto the wood. All right, so this has been drying for about an hour now. It's got kind of a satiny sheen to it. It's not, uh, uh, you know, it's. It is what it is as far as how the quality of the clear coat. Paper's stuck on there good, so 
What we're gonna do now is take some warm water and a scotch pad and we're gonna take off this paper. We're basically just gonna rub it off, rub off the backing and see if the ink is transferred on here properly. Let's get started. I threw a quick coat of lacquer on this at the end and I think it is looking pretty good. You can see, if you look in here, you know, right there, there and there, that's where the wrinkles were. So when you are doing this, be careful about your paper. All right, get you a little bit better focus here. So you can see where the wrinkles are here, here and here, you know, they're, they basically just didn't transfer because the paper wasn't touching in those places. So that's an important aspect of it. You do have to make sure that you're careful about how you thin down or how you press down your paper rather. Sometimes it's worthwhile to use like a credit card or something, but you also have to be careful not to tear it. So there's a balance to be found there. Um, but all in all, I think this turned out pretty good. Remember, start at the middle when you're pushing it out and try and get it as flat as you possibly can. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please find an excuse to give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, I would appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.